More than 22 million Americans have filed for unemployment since the COVID-19 outbreak. It is the largest job loss in history. Doug has more now on new numbers that were released by the U.S. Department of Labor and what that means for New Mexicans. Shelly, in the past month, more than 91,000 New Mexicans have filed for unemployment. Normally, it's 1,000 per week. This massive jump has never happened before. So how long will it take for those jobs to come back? These numbers are shocking and continue to grow. More than 44,000 New Mexicans are now receiving unemployment checks, and there are thousands more who are still waiting. With this new data and looking back on it on a 20 year time frame, we're at the highest levels uh, uh, that we have seen in New Mexico uh, for workers on unemployment. And in many senses, uh, this dwarfs. Uh, the 2008 financial uh, crisis. Just four weeks ago, our numbers were at a record low of only 9,000 receiving unemployment. UNM Professor Riley White says even after the governor lifts the emergency health order, it will take time for people to get back to work. I would expect it will take many, uh, uh, many months, perhaps many years uh, to recover our employment levels. People uh, hire a lot slower than they fire. And, and it's a sad truth uh, uh, in looking at economic data. Hinkle Family Fund Center plans to hire everyone back as soon as they can. They had to furlough about 100 employees. We do want our amazing staff to come back. We are so looking forward to opening back up and, you know, serving Albuquerque and making sure that we're providing the best fund for everyone. But White says not everyone will open as fast. He says with the jobless rate being so high, people will choose to spend less for a while. Even if we said uh, uh, that it got better tomorrow, we had news that said there was a vaccine, it would still take us months to recover our economic losses. We're in this for the long haul. Our unemployment rate is now 5.6 percent, the highest in 20 years. Now, many states are running low on money to fund unemployment. So far, Workforce Solutions says it is not an issue here, but it could be in a few months. Shelley? Right, Doug, thanks. We reached out to the governor's office to see what they plan to do long term about the unemployment rate, but they haven't responded.